Greetings my friends, how are you all doing? This is Zed from Zed Outdoors. I hope you're having an awesome day. So I want to share a quick technique on this video on how you pass a knife safely to somebody else. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video is only just recently I saw someone on YouTube and I could tell obviously they're very new to the kind of whole bushcraft space and they were out with a couple of friends and it was all great and then all of a sudden I saw them kind of passing a knife over to someone and it was really dangerous the way they were doing it. Now I'm not saying that to sound pedantic and all like health and safety, yeah, I'm not that at all. A lot of things you can let slip, it's not an issue. Um, but when you're around a lot of people, stuff like knife safety and fire and what have you not, I've seen accidents happen, accidents happen and have happened to me also. Um, and it's a very dangerous thing, especially when you're around a group of people. So I realized that actually I've not seen a video until now on YouTube on simply how you pass a knife to someone safely. Now I'm sure it's out there, but I just haven't seen one. Now the reason why I stress that is because if you go on any form of bushcraft training, which I have, um, one of the first things you'll always get taught is knife safety, you know, in terms of how you obviously, you know, keep it sheathed and so forth, um, but also how you pass it over to someone. Now it sounds like an obvious thing, isn't it? You're just passing a knife to someone, but if you're not doing it correctly, it can be very dangerous because here's what happens. When you're in a group environment or you're with someone else, all you need is a lapse of concentration and that's it, you know, an accident can happen. I'll show you a couple of reasons why it's dangerous in a second. Um, but like I said, you know, this is one of the first things you get taught whenever you go on any kind of bushcraft training. So I'm not sharing anything new here. This is nothing I've made up. This is something that any bushcraft instructor will teach you if you ever you go on a training. And so what I wanted to do first is just quickly show you what it was that person was doing and why it's dangerous. So let me show you first of all what was dangerous about the way they passed it. So for that, I'm going to use a couple of knives. First, I'm going to use the jackal knife here. Okay, so let me just get that out of the sheath. Let's put that down here. Now I'm behind the camera in order to do this kind of properly. So the person was here that wanted the knife and the person was here about to give the knife and this is what they'd done. So other person's reached their hand out to get the knife and they've handed over like that. Okay. They literally hand it over like that. So let me show you a couple of reasons why that's quite dangerous. Now obviously I'm showing this for demonstration purposes, I'm not touching it. So there's a couple of things here. So naturally the person obviously wanted to kind of grab the handle, right, and take the knife away. But let me tell you why it's quite dangerous, because number one, what could happen is you could end up grabbing a knife, okay? And this is blisteringly sharp. Okay, so that's the first thing that could happen. Second thing that could happen is they could kind of grab the knife part, the blade part, or the kind of middle part, or even the handle. But what can happen is this, is that the other person hasn't properly let go and they can kind of accidentally take the knife out of their hand, okay, and kind of slice up their fingers and stuff. Or the other one is they go to kind of touch it and bam, you know, they get kind of jabbed with the edge. So there's a number of things there that are quite dangerous about that. So let me now show you the correct way of doing it. And it's actually very, very simple once you've seen it, but it's important to know. So instead of going like that, this is what you do now. You Okay, so I'm behind the camera, so it's a little bit awkward. So what you do, the knife comes in like jewels, and you just go like that. That is all you do, okay? And so now, the other person, they grab the handle, okay? And that's what you do. So let me repeat that. Instead of just doing the knife like that, you make sure it goes like that, okay? So you just tilt it, that's all. Okay, so they have no option but to grab the handle. They can't grab anything else, okay? Because everything's in the way. Okay, your hand's in the way, so they have no option but to grab the handle, and also, this is the blunt side. So even if it drags out of the hand, nothing's going to happen, okay? So I'll show you that once again. Once again, it's very simple, I know, once you've seen it. But that's it, just tilt the knife, and that's it. You take that there. I'll show you the same principle with another knife. This is a very cheap budget, uh, but actually a good quality lot knife that I'm testing out. This is a Ganzo, okay? So with this one, this is a lot knife, so... It's the same principle with this. Now technically, obviously when you hand over a lock knife, you hand it closed, or a folding knife. Okay, you hand it over closed, and that's it, it's not an issue, no problem, they can take it. No worries at all. But let's just say, for some reason, you've got it kind of locked open. It's the same principle, so once again, you don't kind of like hold it out there for them to grab. You know, a lot of dangerous things could happen then. You simply just tilt it, okay? So you just tilt it, that is all you do, so now, they grab that and they take it there. Once again, if they do take that, this is the blunt side, so nothing will happen to your hand. Okay, so I'll show you that once again. Here you go, mate. Look at my lock knife. Thanks, mate. That's it. Done. So there you go, my friends. A safe technique for handing over a blade, no matter what the kind of blade may be. 
it could be a fixed kind of blade knife, it could be a lock knife. Needless to say, a couple of quick things. If you've got kind of a lock knife or a folding knife, obviously it's just going to be locked at all times. Obvious thing to state, right? So make sure that's the case here. Um, and with the uh, fixed blade knives, it's needless to say, it should always be sheathed if you're not using it. Same goes with your axes, your saws, etc, etc. Here's the thing, once again, I don't want to sound all pedantic and all health and safety freaky kind of stuff, but yeah, they, accidents do happen, especially when you're in a group of people. Yeah, you get distracted, you're talking to someone here, something's happening there, and next minute, bam. When I think to the times I've either been burnt or cut or whatever, apart from getting attacked by my ex-girlfriend, I can assure you it's when I'm been out in a wild camp and I've not been paying attention. Those are pretty much all the times um, that kind of an accident's happened. So, like I said, it's a very simple technique once you've seen it. It's nothing really much to it. This gets taught to you whenever you do pretty much any bushcraft course anywhere in the world. Knife safety and also how you pass over a knife to someone. And hey, I appreciate the fact that a lot of you are watching are very new to kind of the bushcraft and the outdoors. So obviously this is more for you guys. The more seasoned guys will know a lot of this, but for those of you that don't know, you don't know. But now you do know. So like I said, please do be careful. I don't want any injured people watching my videos. I couldn't live without conscience. So like I said, hope that tip helped you out. And as always, I hope whatever you're doing, you have a blessed day, a blessed week ahead. From a health and safety executive, Zed Shah, this is peace out.